Hey everyone, Cody here. And today I wanna to answer the question, how can I make my art stand out? Well, essentially it's, it's a kind of a difficult thing because there's a lot of, there's a lot of great artists out there and there's a lot of people, you know, trying to promote their art to sell it and stuff like that. So if you're, you know, trying to sell your art or you're trying to get it kind of known out there, um, this can be a difficult thing. So how can you make your art stand out? Essentially, it kind of comes down to your style. And I think the biggest way to do this is to have a style that's kind of your signature style and just kind of continuously put out work that matches that style. Sorry, I have some papers that fell over. Um, and so the biggest thing for people to kind of recognize it is to have something that is a little bit unique about what you do. And that kind of comes over time. Um, and this could be in the actual products uh, that you produce. It could be in the method that you produce them, you know, all of these different things, but it will kind of come over time and it could even just be you as an artist. So let me give you a couple examples so you kind of understand what I'm talking about. So it's like Jackson Pollock. I always reference him because he's kind of the reason I started painting. Uh, Jackson Pollock, you know, was different, not only because his paintings were different, but the method was different. He painted on the floor as opposed to on the easel when he started doing his drip paintings. And that was just different. So not only was the product itself different, but the method that he used to create the paintings was different. And so a lot of the artists that we remember, especially the older artists, um, you know, there was just something different about the way they did things or the products they you know, created. So you kind of have to just do it over time and maybe document things about yourself that make it stand out. So if you go on uh, Instagram and just look up abstract art, there's a lot of art that looks the same. And though there's a lot of talented artists and I respect them and I think they're doing great and I think they're amazing. But even there's, there's not really a unique per se on every one of them because I've seen a lot of artists that produce a lot of work that looks a lot of the same. Again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And you could look at two different artists that kind of do the same thing and not know which one was which if you didn't, if you weren't familiar with the work. But essentially those artists could still be selling a lot of art because that, that signature style still resonates with somebody and it's still kind of mastered to that person. So my point out of that is to really um, make your art stand out, you kind of have to figure out what it is that you're doing that you can really shine on. So you may not have something that's 100% unique because there's other people doing it, like scrape paintings. I'm not the only person that does scrape paintings. However, the thing that kind of stands out about my work is it's gloss enamel. So whereas most people tend to use oil and acrylic paint, I use gloss enamel. That's definitely not as common. Gloss enamel is very hard to work with. It's a pain in the butt sometimes to work with, but it's different. It's a different type of medium. So that makes it different. So I can kind of use that to my advantage. And I do. So when I promote my products, I tell people, hey, this is, you know, this is an acrylic or oil. It's gloss enamel. It's a completely different thing. And that's essentially what Pollock used. And that's kind of how I found out about it. So that's what makes my art different. And there's, but there's other artists that actually promote themselves as the unique thing about it. So there's actually an artist and I think it's like Taylor Lee Paints or something like that on Instagram. I don't remember for sure what her tag is but her whole thing is that she paints to uh to work through her depression and so that's why she does painting is because it's her outlet for her depression and that's like part of her story and so that's how she uses that to promote the paintings and the paintings are decent but the the story behind it is kind of what propels her to success. She sold a lot of work, you know, prints and, and originals and stuff like that. But it's it's more about her story and, and how she uses that story to promote that art. So the art itself may not be the most unique thing you've ever seen, but it's her story that really pushes that because that's kind of her USP, unique selling point, if you will. So essentially it kind of comes down to what is it that you that's unique enough about you and your story that you can promote um, with your art. So it may not be that your art itself is 100% unique and nobody's ever done it or that there's not, you know, dozens, if not hundreds of other people doing a similar style. It kind of comes down to what is it about it that you can promote yourself that really shines about it? Is it you as the artist? Is it your technique? Is it the final product? Whatever it is, just find that thing and really promote it. So that's pretty much all the advice I have for that. If you like this video, please let me know, like it, share it, all that cool stuff. Leave a comment whether you liked it or not, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. See you. Bye, guys.